All right, welcome to the Python 310 doc walk. Uh, this document, we will be going over the, uh, the cover, uh, the short cover introduction to Python, as well as whetting your appetite. Uh, apparently named after Monty Python's Flying Circus, and so as mentioned in the documentation, Monty Python reference making is said to be highly encouraged. All right, so Python is a highly intuitive uh, language. Uh, the syntax is highly intuitive and it ends up helping you create well extremely compact code that is highly effective, easy to read, easy to write, and uh, dramatically cuts your script sizes down. There are a variety of ways to create pretty complex operations within a single line, which sometimes is discouraged, but uh, you know when when done correctly, when you, it's readable, uh, it, it's is said to be the Pythonic way. Programs are easily divided into reusable modules and of course uh, Python is an object-oriented programming language. Uh, now for Python, unlike several other fairly, I guess, popular languages, variable and argument declarations are not necessary. You can uh, add a variable in the middle of your code and and Python is, is designed in such a way that it, it cleans it up in a fairly effective and efficient manner so that you don't end up wasting a bunch of memory and having a bunch of uh, you know orphaned um, <laughs> uh, data blocks running around everywhere. Python is an interpreted scripting language and as I said, it's object-oriented. Uh, there are interpreters for a vast many platforms, so it is cross-platform compatible across tons and tons and tons of different platforms. You know, from Linux to Windows to Mac OS X to some of the more you know Raspberry Pi to uh, all, all sorts of different you know microcontrollers, and I mean it's just all over the place. Several uh, IoT devices are programmed in Python or at least uh, in part, the development process is done in Python. So it is a very, let's say, current technology is highly saturated with Python capabilities. Python itself, as well as it, its standard library, it's all open source. Um, so, you know, you don't need to pay a fee to use it or <laughs> anything like that. You can simply go to python.org and download uh, the latest interpreter or the interpreter of your choice for whichever platform you are uh, developing for. It is extensible with C and or C++ and uh, or C callable languages. If you are familiar with C, if you've used C, uh, you can even add new functionality to the interpreter uh, and do a, a variety of very cool hacks uh, that most languages typically don't allow you to do. Uh, including, as was mentioned in the documentation, uh, you can link to programs and libraries that are only typically available in binary. Uh, something very cool about Python, which is partially is why I sometimes use it, is because it is often used as an extension language uh, for Krita, GIMP, Blender, uh, Ardor, uh, Audacity. I mean, there are a ton of graphics programs, audio programs, all sorts of popular and open source and even uh, closed source programs that allow you to create and develop extensions in Python. Python is great for automation. Uh, it is often used in data science and machine learning, another area of, of my research that I use Python for. Uh, it's also great for GUI development. It has a variety of GUI uh, libraries that, that have been ported or linked to Python. So, you know, games, simulations, simulations and modeling, another uh, part of what I do, uh, automation, whatever. Python really is made to be extremely powerful in almost everything that it does. A large part of that having to do with uh, its extensibility. So Python is a high level language with low level language capabilities and its uh, native uh, Python standard library has a variety of very useful uh, math capabilities, file I.O., um, well, internet and network uh, protocols and wrappers, um, system calls, socket programming, GUI toolkits, etc., etc., etc. And uh, 
If you like developing games, I highly recommend after going through this, taking a look at Pi Game. Uh, it's very easy to learn, very cool capabilities, a, a really good way to get into just making fun little games. All right, well, that is the end of the introduction to Python and uh, this Wedding Your Appetite documentation. I will see you guys next time as we talk about the Python interpreter and how to use it. So uh, get your terminals ready because we're going to have some fun. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.